How you doing? Sorry, I shouldn't move around. Hi. I've been compelled to do another video. This one hopefully will be brief, but just give you kind of like an, something to think about when it comes to politics. It used to be something a little more civil, regardless. And half the time, whether you believed one side or the other, or if you were more conservative, more liberal leaning, there was always a family that had both. So there was never really any bloodshed. It was always just, like, okay, you have your views, I have mine, we'll separate. And debating was an important part of the process, especially in, excuse me, in elections, in voting, finding the person worth voting for. Because that would, br that would bring out the people with the quick minds. And, you know, if you're smart enough and you're in tune enough, you can vibe the, the snake oil sellers, right? The... The lounge lizards, the, the lawyers, most of them, I'm sorry, most politicians at this point have become like lounge lizards. They're really sleazy and they're not even caring about, I mean, they're like going on, you know, trips to guitar and riding camels while everybody's locked down, and, you know, blowing their heads off because they're freaking out about COVID, you know, being locked down and all that shit. So they're off running around having a great time all over the world while they, they've just freaked the shit out of everybody. So, you know, horrible human beings. We don't want that in our world. And the reason why politics has gotten so bad is because debate has gone away. There is no, you can, now they just walk in the room, he's a Nazi, he's a racist, he's a white supremacist, whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? And it's like, so how do you, where do you go from there, right? It's like, he's a, yeah. You know what I mean? Where do you go? There's no civil debate. At that point, you're, you're the enemy. There is no, hi, I disagree with a lot of things they say, but they still have the right to say it, and I'll defend their right to say it to the death, that kind of thing. It's all about hate, and that's what causes so much anguish and fear and disinformation is the way that people address things nowadays. There is no more debate. And that was like, it used to be like a prize fight. You'd be able to see who was the sharpest mind and who was smart and who said things that made sense and you agreed with. And it just got worse and worse as you go until the point it was just all mudslinging. I, you know, at some point I might have thought about politics or, you know, trying to be a leader in the community, but they, they'll, you know, they're, they're, they're vicious. They don't, they don't want, they don't want you there. Cause even if I'm really good for the community, even if they're going to benefit it, they're not in control anymore. So they'd rather them benefit from that control and have the community just go to shit. Like a lot of major cities are like Chicago and fucking New York. They're all going to shit. And they don't care, but if somebody actually showed up to fix it but didn't really drink the punch, they'd have a problem with that, and they'd shut them down. So I don't even want to deal with that kind of threats. And, and now it's gotten so bloodthirsty, We're on, especially online. If you're really into online, you get attacked. I'm like literally, the, the blessing I have in my world is I'm ignorant. Thank you to a lot of digital stuff, and I just don't understand it and don't know it, and I can't respond to it. And that's almost like a digital block, a blessing on my part from the God in the universe, saving me from the hate from others because I can feel it. Like when I just got digitally attacked, my phone was freaking out, my battery dropped to nothing, and it was trying to turn off, and it just started really just glitching, going into different programs really quick. And I tried to turn it off, and it wouldn't. It was like, yeah, yeah, really bad. So I had to plug it in, and then it said 98% charge on my phone. And I was like, so as soon as I unplugged it, it was back to zero and glitchy. So I had to turn it off and then put it in pilot, you know, put it in airplane mode. See, so I had to do all these things just to get my phone to work normal again. <clears throat> So yeah, so it's tough trying to speak your mind and just speak your truth. This is my truth. I'm not lay. I'm you know literally an ind independent human being entity running the wor world with my little craft right there, Dharma, and just trying to find some peace and happiness. And I'm not interested in dominating anybody, telling anybody what to do. I'm not interested in who you hump in your bedroom. It's none of my damn business. Thank you very much. And and who I hump's none of yours. Thank you. Ooh, got some dust. But anyway. I love you. <laughs> exactly. That was cool. So yeah, so basically, I just want to be free. Period. And that's a terrible thing. Establishment don't want you free. They don't want you making decisions for yourself. No, no, no. Then you start realizing, that guy's a fucking asshole. Why did I vote for him again? Yeah. So think for yourself. Love yourself. Run high vibration. You can always do that. Even... Like, even in my situation, as dire as it is, financial and all that stuff, 
I still have to cling to that I'm okay. I'm mentally fit. I can physically, my back's kind of screwed and all the other fun stuff that's going on with my body right now. But, you know, I'm, I'm old. I'm 51. So, you know, I'm going anyways. I'm downhill and it just gets faster and faster to the point where, you know, I'm just a blessing every day that I wake up and go, okay, cool. Still here. Let's do this, right? My motivation for the day because <laughs> I survived. So, yeah, it's the little things, right? And then everything's blessing after that. So, I'm rambling, but yeah, politics used to be, you know, and I could punch, baby. I mean, politically, metaphorically, yeah, nobody could stand up next to me. I would just devastate him. I don't think there's ever been a political person next to Trump. That dude just, you know, you're talking to somebody who's a genius, sharp mind, savant, even. I'm going there, and yeah, you get in front of him, he's just going to shred you, and he did. He shredded all, look at all those Republicans he just shredded. Oh my God, it was awesome. I hate, I don't like politicians regardless of what side you're on. They're all fake. They're all cookie cutter, you know, sleazy, Ted Cruz, all of them. They're all just a bunch of sleaze bags. Every one of them. Even the ones that you didn't expect to, like that Crenshaw guy with the patch. He's in the military, but pff, he's a scumbag too. It's like, damn, it's almost like, do they brainwash these people? Do they Manchurian president, these fucking guys? Is there some, you know how they get the black eye? You ever seen that? Uh, another conspiracy. You look it up. You see all these guys with black eyes. The Pope had it. Carrie. All of them for some. And it just it's the same eye. Just gets. Wonder what they're like. Doing a lobotomy. Yes. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg is amazing. I don't know what the fuck they do. But that's what I think that might be happening. Who knows, man? In one minute they're, they're making sense. And I get they get. Can we go and see you somewhere? And they go f see a doctor or something. Next, you know, they're <clears throat> they're saying all kinds of crazy shit that nobody can believe. So, who knows? It's all fun conspiracy stuff. I mean, you could talk about the reptilians. <gasps> uh, yeah, they believe that they're kind of running the show too. And they get like they can transform, and they get kind of yeah. That's a whole nother story. We'll get into that video later. We're talking about politics and, and the lack of civility in it. And that's a damn shame because it used to be great. Yeah, for a minute anyway. But look at look at democracy from the beginning. The Greeks, they fucked it all up. I'm sorry, but the Greeks, they invented democracy only to screw it up in 300 years because they couldn't control the greed. They couldn't control the people. The people got control and they didn't want to leave because it was a transmission. It was like a, it was a, it was a spin. What do you call those, you know, those doors? At the hotels that spin around and it was a revolving door sorry, excuse me it's a revolving door of politicians in the greek hierarchy back in the, when they first started so basically you were there for 100 days and you're gone back on your farm or in your shop so you weren't like pelosi making billions of dollars off of whatever in there for 30 years and shit it was just 100 days you're spot and then you're going to go back to your farm and that same laws that you implemented you would be subject to which is why it works out great but anyways that's another story we'll do another video on democracy I love you, God loves you, and the universe loves you, and uh, pray for a decent debate, but it'll never happen, because when you know you're wrong, all you're going to do is keep lying and digging that hole, so anyway, I love you, God loves you, and the universe is still digging you, so have a wonderful day.